Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want to speak to you today on a very powerful subject. And the subject is entitled, The Just Shall Live by Faith. Now, the Word of God says in the book of Romans, chapter 1 and verse 16, and the Apostle Paul writing says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jews first and also to the Greeks. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith, from faith to faith. For it is written, the just shall live by faith. As believers, we are called into a far superior lifestyle of living by faith. We are not merely existing in this life, merely going through the motions of this life, but we have a life to live. And that's the reason why God has give us, given us a means to connect to Him into the supernatural. The God that we serve is a supernatural God. And by the supernatural means of faith, the currency of heaven, we are able to possess our possessions. Now in Galatians chapter 3 and verse 11, it says, The just shall live by faith. Now, the English Standard Version says, the righteous shall live by faith. Now, what does it mean by the just living by faith? The word just means those that have been declared righteous shall live by faith. We are not called to live by any other means, not even natural means. We are called to live by faith. Hebrews 10, 38 says, but my righteous one shall live by faith. Those that have been declared righteous are called to live by faith. Those who have been declared righteous can live a far superior life than living a natural life. Faith is the currency that connects us to the supernatural realm. Now the word supernatural is two words, super and natural. The word super means to be above and to be beyond. God wants us to live above and God wants us to live beyond. Therefore he gave us the principle of faith. What is faith? Now faith according to Hebrews 11, 1, the word of God says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. Now faith is the the substance, the substance of the things that we hope for. Hope is futuristic, now faith is now. So faith is present and hope is futuristic. For us to embrace the future into the now, we need the currency of faith, the means to connect us into the supernatural. So the, the apostle writes here and he says that now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. Now the Greek word is that faith is the new postasis. Faith is the title deed. You never own a property until you have the title deed in your hands. You never own a building until you have a title deed in your hand. When the title deed is in your hand, that means you possess that possession. You possess the building. You possess the property. You possess the car. You possess the things you so desire. So God has given us faith to connect to the supernatural so that we can possess our possessions. Faith causes you to possess the things that, that you cannot naturally possess. It gives you access into the things of, of the future, things of the supernatural, the things that you so desire, the new home, the new property, the new buildings, the new church, the new business that you so desire. Faith raises you above and beyond the natural to possess your possession. It connects you to God. The means of connection to the supernatural is faith and that's where we, that's how we access the things of God. Number two, faith is the reality of things hoped for, the proof of things not yet seen. So faith is a reality. We live in a reality that is now. We live in a reality that is present. We live in a reality that we can see by sight. But can I say this here, faith is the reality of things hoped for, the proof of things not yet seen. Faith will give you the proof that finally that you will possess the things that you so desire. I like 2 Corinthians 5, 7 which says, For we walk by faith, not by sight. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Now there are five sensory mechanisms in the natural world. The, 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 the five sensory mechanisms, number one is the, the sensory mechanism of smell, feel, hear, touch and taste. Now notice the word of God says that we walk by faith and not by sight. The word walk means to be progressive, 
to advance. So in other words, we advance and progress by faith. It means onward movement towards our destination. The NLT translation says, for we live by believing and not by seeing. For we live by believing and not by seeing. The word walk is to progress, to develop towards an improved or more advanced condition. So for faith brings us into a more improved and advanced condition of life. The import, there's an importance of faith to the believer. When a believer is connected to the word of God, then faith is increased in his life. The word of God says that now faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So as we keep on hearing the word of God, our faith improves, our faith develops, our faith matures, and our faith grows. Number one, God has given to every man the measure of faith when we were born again and accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior he's given us every single man the measure of faith now we need to grow this faith we need to develop this faith so that we can see the mega things that we so desire that we can see the important things that we so desire or the things that we so desire and want in this life uh, God can meet God can meet our needs uh, God can meet our wants uh, and God can meet our desires he's a great God but it takes faith to connect us to that realm we we, we we God has given to us the measure of faith now in growing our faith we need to take it what we hear because faith comes by hearing and also fear comes by hearing as we develop in faith and grow our faith by the revelation of God's word and the more word and that we grasp and the more we study the word of God our faith is increased so we grow from the measure of faith to a faith as a grain of mustard seed now it's important for us to understand here that Jesus said if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed you will say unto this mountain be removed and be cast into yonder place and it will obey you now look at the capacity and visualize the capacity of faith as a grain of mustard seed that we can move mountains because faith as a grain of mustard seed deals with our concentration when we have this level of concentration in our faith uh, we can move mountains not only does it speak about natural mountains he's speaking about spirit those mountains of problems uh, those mountains of difficulties uh, those financial burdens that we face uh, those calamities those sicknesses those diseases that appears to be a mountain before us uh, God can move it uh, if we have faith as a grain of mustard seed. Then we grow to great faith. Now, Jesus, when he, he looked at the woman with the issue of blood, uh, the Bible says uh, that she said within herself, if I would just touch the hem of his garment, then I would be made well. She had gone to the physicians. She has gone to the doctors. Uh, and the word of God says she spent her money and all her earnings, uh, wasting it on physicians and doctors. But when she heard about Jesus, uh, she said within herself, if I would just touch the hem of his garment, if I would just touch the hem of his garment, then I would be made whole. And she went in the direction of touching the hem of his garment. And when she walked and she came towards him, she walked, she progressed, she advanced as she moved towards him. She improved the condition of her life and she was bleeding for 12 years. Though some scriptures say that she was hemorrhaging. Some say that she was bleeding. But all I can say to you is this here. She advanced and as she moved progressively towards where Jesus was and touched the hem of his garment, immediately the hem hemorrhaging stopped the bleeding stopped and the 12 years of discomfort and pain was stopped by one touch that she made by touching the hem of his garment and immediately she was healed Jesus said I, somebody touch me now the disciples said Lord the multitudes are thronging you how could you ever say that somebody touched you this was a different kind of touch this was a touch that Jesus said the virtue has left me the virtue of healing had left Jesus and when Jesus the woman seeing that that what she has done she came to Jesus trembling and falling at his feet and Jesus said to her great is your faith your faith has made you whole 
after 12 years of exercising faith in different means and different uh, doing different things even with her money she finally touched Jesus garment and she was totally healed and that was great faith then we grow from great faith to perfect faith perfect faith is the faith that Abraham had and the word of God says he was willing to trust God for the promise that God had given him 25 years later from the age of 75 until the age of 100, the word of God says that God blessed Abraham. Why? He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but grew strong in faith. How did he grow strong in faith? Always giving glory to God. Every time the enemy came to him and tried to bring doubt and unbelief and fear or made him be, uh, cause him to be nervous about the situation or the promise that God's given him, he kept on praising God. He staggered not at the promise of God. He didn't stagger. He didn't uh, straddle. But he grew strong in faith. He grew strong giving glory to God. The highest expression of faith is praise. Can you praise God in the midst of your difficulty? Can you praise God in the midst of the situations you may? Get deteriorating and if you can do that then you can grow into perfect faith and the word of God says against hope he hoped there was no hope for him to hope naturally but he entered into the supernatural by his faith he advanced and improved the condition and by having perfect faith we see the miracle that takes place and the promise come to pass in his life as you keep on hearing the word of God it's going to build faith it's going to build faith to the level where you're going to please God and as Hebrews eleven six 6 says without faith it is impossible to please God but for they that come to him must believe that he is and a rewarder of those that diligently diligently and industriously seek him you need to diligently seek God and diligently believe in the word of God you may ask me what is faith faith is the word of God when you take the word of God and look at all the miracles that Jesus has done and you believe in those miracles that he has done he can do the same for you then exercise your faith you've got to plant your faith then you begin to grow your faith then you grow from the measure of faith to the faith as a grain of mustard seed to great faith and to perfect faith and when you come to perfect faith, you will see the supernatural manifestations of God in your life. Uh, the, the probably the, the, the time frame will be shortened when you exercise your faith, when you come to perfect faith. Because in perfect faith, we know that we know that we know that God will surely come through. And as we exercise and plant our faith, God will do miracles now I believe that God can do miracles in your life as you've been watching this program from our worship to this word and I believe that the word of faith has been sown into your heart right now and God can perform a miracle in your life no matter what you're going through no matter what your need is no matter what your desire or your wanting is God can meet that all you've got to do is exercise your faith and plant your faith and believe that God can do it come let's pray father we come to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus we thank you for the principle of faith we thank you for the power of faith and your word declares oh God that we also having the same spirit of faith we need to grow into the spirit of faith where we have this rhythmic flow of exercising our faith and believing that you're able to perform miracles so whatever your children desire right now I command miracles to take place in their lives with its healing I speak healing to their bodies healing to their minds oh God in the mighty name of Jesus and by the stripes of Jesus right now they are healed by the power of your word and we thank you that you sent your word to heal us and to deliver us from all our destructions Lord I pray for Lord Lord uh, expansions in, in their lifestyle in the revelation of your word then I pray also right now God for financial blessings to come to them in the mighty name of Jesus I break the power of poverty over their lives in the name of Jesus and I release them oh God from substandard living oh God and from normal living oh God to move to beyond and to advance in our living into the supernatural and we thank you for the miracles right now that are performed by the word of God and by because we trust you and we believe you and we ask it in Jesus name Amen